Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will tell you how to find out mean deviation about median of discrete data. First of all, what are the main points which I will discuss in this video? Formula and steps for finding mean deviation about median of discrete data. Example based on it. Exercise along with answers based on it. After watching this video, you can take the screenshot of these two slides and you can try this exercise to test your knowledge and understanding. What is the formula for calculating mean deviation about median? The formula is same like uh, mean deviation about me median and mean. What is the difference? This is the only difference. In mean, we take x bar over here and in median we take m m means median the main is how to find out median of discrete data median of discrete data so how to find out first of all in discrete we will make the table according to the formula we will make the table in discrete data xifi or in continuous data xifi would be given to us and then using the formula, we have to find out median. How to find out median of discrete data? To know about this, the link of the video is given in the description box of this video. You can go through that. Like uh, for discrete data, we will find out median for that cumulative frequency is required. Then we will find out median. Next column would be absolute value of xi minus m m means medium and next would be fi into xi minus m this is your summation fi xi minus m this is summation fi which is n and we will substitute the value of these and we will get mean deviation about median and it would be summation fi xi minus m upon <coughs> summation fi which is equal to n the so main purpose is these are the steps main is you have to remember the formula if you know the formula you can make the table these are the steps which i have already discussed with you now, how to find out mean deviation about median of discrete data? First of all, formula should be there. Mean deviation about median equal summation fi xi minus m upon summation fi. That is equal to m. This is very important. According to this, formula we will make the table let's see how to make it first how to find out median if we want to find out median of discrete data first point is we arrange xi in ascending order it is already in ascending order the second is frequency table is given the total this is summation fi now we will make cumulative frequency what how to 7 as it is 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 8 18 18 plus 5 23 plus 6 29 then next would be 37 then 4150. Now, to find out median, we have to calculate n y because n is 50, which is even, even number. The so median would be average of average of n y2, that is 50 upon 2th term plus. 50 upon 2 plus 1 x 10. That is 
एवरेज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स टर्म एंड नाउ वट इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स फ्रॉम दिस क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी कॉलम वी विल सी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स विल लाइक along this check the xi value 30 plus 30 average means upon 2 that is mean is median is 30 so next column will be absolute value of xi minus 30 and next would be fi into xi minus 30 we will make the table accordingly find out its value absolute value of xi minus 30 xi is this minus 30 10 minus 30 and its absolute value is only positive 15 minus 30 20 minus 30 25 minus 30 30 minus 30 35 minus 30 And forty minus thirty, and this is fifteen. Next is we will multiply them into fi seven into twenty. That is one forty. Three into fifteen, forty five. Ten into eight, eighty. Five into five, twenty five. Zero. Eight into five. Four into ten. Fifteen into nine. And the other sum. For one forty, forty-five, eighty, twenty-five, zero, forty, fourteen, one thirty-five, and the this is summation f i x i minus m. its value uh, adding these two you will get uh, 505 now find out mean deviation about median substitute its value its value is 505 upon n is 50 its value will be 10.1 mean deviation about median this is the exercise based on it how to find out a mean deviation about median of discrete data you can take the screenshot of this this slide and you can test you can try this exercise to test your knowledge and understanding that's all in this video thank you so much